Hey y'all, welcome to another video. This is actually a bit different. I colored my hair and I was very excited to share the progress. So watch the video and let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy. from the pinned up hairstyle I was in. You can see that I have blonde on the tips. You wanna start with using Vaseline on all of the edges. Sometimes the, the dye or the bleach powder, or whatever it is that you're using to color your hair, it can get on your skin and if your skin is sensitive like mine, you wanna make sure that you put Vaseline on the edges and even on your ears, um, just in case any of the product end up there. So you want to get all the way around your entire hairline. Whether you're coloring that part of your hairline or not, just make sure that you just have a really chunky amount that's safe for your hair. Here you see I used the Clairol BW2 bleach as well as the 20 Standard Lift Clairol Professional so that I can mix everything into my plastic container using my brush to mix of course and I also want to measure two parts of the packet of bleach to one part of the developer. I had an open packet filled with about half the amount of bleach so I use that and I'm just going to pour the remaining two full packets into the container as well. Be mindful that the bleach has a very very strong order and it may be a lot for you to take in. So be sure that you have a fan, something blowing overhead, and open windows so that fresh air can be circulated into your home. Here I'm pouring the standard lift developer into my mixture, into my bleach, and I'm going to mix this with my brush. And you wanna make sure that when you're mixing it, that the powder is completely dissolved and it will yield a very creamy mixture that you can apply to your hair. Again, be careful while mixing because the powder, the bleach powder, can actually get into your face. What I want to do here now is separate my hair into the area where I would like to add the bleach to. Keep in mind that because my hair is pretty crimped from a twist out old hairstyle that when you are putting the color in your hair, it's not gonna be super even. If you do want it to be super even, do it on pressed hair. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of the bleach in my hair, the creamy mixture, and I'm just gonna try to rub it through. And I'm also gonna fast forward through this because it's quite boring. Yes, I'm going to use VO5 to wash my hair, but before I do, I need to rinse the bleach out. Be careful with your eyes. I'm going to fast forward through this as well. So first, wash all of the bleach out with lukewarm water, and then you want to actually use a shampoo to go back through it and make sure you get through your roots and clean all the bleach out. Finally, you want to rinse thoroughly and after rinsing the shampoo out, I want to go ahead and then use the conditioner. I use the Tresemme, and I'm just going to go through this process a little bit quicker. I'm going to use the Tresemme conditioner, apply it to my hair, root to tip, and then I'm going to use this as an opportunity to comb out my hair and detangle it. I wanted to use a toner 
to help reduce the brightness and color of my hair as you can see there I use two toners and of course you need a developer of course your shampoo and your conditioner and then here are my tools again the brush the plastic container and the measuring spoon so I measure out my ingredients I put about half of each um, toner into the plastic container and then I added a full part of the developer in with the toners and then I mix that. Now when you're mixing that mixture it's important to make sure that the mixture turns bluish purple. Once it's turned bluish purple you know that it is ready to be applied to your hair. Again keep in mind that the texture of my hair is still very poopy and so the application of the mixture is not going to be completely smooth. However, I like to have those layers in the coloring of my hair. Now you want to rinse out the mixture and I'm just going to go quickly through this. You also want to shampoo and condition your hair. Um, I use warm water as you can tell, you can see the steam rising in the back. <laughs> And um, I also, of course, would detangle my hair during the conditioning process. And then at the very tail end, I um, dried my hair, used my yellow burr, and then I just played with it. And you can see that it's not a super bright color, but it's still nicely done with a little blonde tips. Thanks for watching.